again starting off with a map played last time. I think last time AGH, no, ITB won this last time, so pretty convincingly as well. Gonna have to see which side takes this this time. Also, Snub Domino, uh, I can definitely relate. Um, I'm on a team with a bunch of Singaporeans in a world tournament and proceeded to wake up at 5 in the morning. Oh, never mind. That is Telstra. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. And or got banned, so. Uh oh. Okay. Internet's back. But, oh. Apologies for that. Um, you good? Yeah, Australian internet at this hour. Um, not Literally. that great. <laughs> Anyways. Right now, um, both teams still holding onto FCs apart from uh, the I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. That only uh, dropped from him. Oh, wait, uh, well, what corner? Uh, lower left. Lower right. Lower right? Yep. Don't worry, no one, no one knows how to pronounce that. Unfortunately, Hunter is no, no longer here, so uh, we're going to be butchering that for the rest of the night. Sorry yeah, about that. I've, I've been saying uh, Twaj Stadi because, uh, like, I don't Twaj know. I'm just like, okay, how Stadi? would a Polish okay. person say it? Yeah, no. Unfortunately, I'm not fluent in Polish. But anyway, still a double FC right now coming from ITB. Into the best back and forth and... Twasraj and Fuma actually going to be finding a break. Sui Kami now at this time, the one to hold on. Blonda is also finding a break shortly afterwards. That combo is going to basically accelerate the lead for ITB so, so much right now. What time is it for us? Uh, what time is it for you right now? Oh, for me? 9.34 yeah. a.m. 9.34 a.m. Well, it's uh, 12.04 a.m. right now, so... Uh... Dawn of a new day. Feeling refreshed, definitely. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh. As in, it's in the middle of the night right now. But... Yeah, Suikami does find a break afterwards, but everyone is going to trade there and basically that's going to give the point to ITB. Unless something tragic happens here, I don't think AGH could find their way back into this. Blondad and Suikami does trade, but still point advantage in the favor of ITB and yeah, with Twash Stage also finding a break. Fuma now. Holding on to the highest combo, Suikami and Blonda is trading again. Ooh, just... Yeah, that big stack stream. Right there. Fuma. Gonna be the one to hold the highest combo near the end. Carrying the score right now. Ooh, he's gonna find a break, but... Suikami also finding a break shortly afterwards. That slider stream, absolutely evil. Not gonna matter though. ITB. Wait. I just realized how much ITB has been destroying the pick'em so far. <laughs> the pick from AGH. No break points just yet. Each team taking their own picks. ITB taking the first one, of course. But yeah, everyone else apart from... Okay, there we go. And just early on, Twash Study, oh my god, I can't pronounce that, is the one to hold an SS still. Just early on, but accuracy is, apart from that of Suikami, who just finds the first miss of the map, is very, very high still, still pretty good at 96%, 95. 98 for Blondas and Twash Study, though, so definitely in their favor. Suikami and Fuma finding breaks now. The flow aim in this map, definitely very, very tricky. But this free combo is just going to let AGH accelerate 
That lead now. So he's coming in through, but now really has to hold on through the next few sections. And some of the more difficult streams near the end as well. So he can't so unable to hold it. Yeah, so Ikami just not having a great time right now, finding combo breaks left and right. A little bit unfortunate, just chain missing Fuma as well now, finding a break. Twice Sarah and Blonda still holding onto the FCs. Very impressive performance right now. But yeah. A break here from either of those players would be pretty tragic, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen, but ITB... It would take a miracle for them to come back into this, well, map right now. Gonna have really have to see Blondaz find the first miss for AGH, but that's not gonna be enough. The lead doubles out of ITB right now. Blondaz finds a chain miss, but... And another one, not gonna matter too much, though. Fuma and Suikami now holding on to somewhat of a combo, but Twash Zaddy is just completely popping off right now. Absolutely insane score from him. That flow him catching out Suikami and Fuma again. 1.4k combo soon for Twash Zaddy. He doesn't seem to let up at all in this stream map. His stamina is still good after playing that uh, match earlier, so. Definitely a very impressive performance here. Oh no! These more space streams, unfortunately catching him off guard the last second, but it's gonna do more than enough to keep him his team ahead. In fact, he is 1v2ing right now. There's no stopping him. Just He's about to get 800k. Unfortunately finding another miss. Blondaz dropping a lot, lot of hundreds, but yeah. The 1v2 from Twaj... Oh my god, I can't say that. And uh, Blondaz, absolutely <laughs> supporting yeah, him Blondaz as well. Blondaz also playing really well too. Like, Blondaz's score beats Twaj's uh, score in the first match. So, yeah, like, I mean, Twaj, the star of the show right now, uh, no pun intended. Look, no one's taking Hard Rock on this. <laughs> yeah. And this intro is actually probably the hardest part to act. <laughs> and Blondaz, yeah, just finding an unfortunate miss early on. But here we go. Into those back and forth. Uh, BPM is a little bit low for ult, but um, definitely favors ulting. The Kaichi though. Coming in with a single tap. Twice, sorry as well, single tapping this. Definitely not out of reach of single tapping, but no, definitely quite straining. 220 if I'm not wrong. Wait, no. How fast is this? This is like 210, I think. But I think my internet just died again. Uh oh. Pretty actually. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta be faster than 210. Let me just check real quick. I do have the sheets open. This is um 123, so yeah. This is a uh, 246. Uh, yeah, 246. So then yeah, that'll definitely be possible in single tap for some grand finalists, but not all. Definitely not. And oh those patterns aren't gonna catch so it's sorry off guard. But Fuma and Takaichi holding on perfectly fine here. Blondaz. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say that he's Come on, holding. Misreading. Yeah. Oh, what was that? That pause. Uh, no, that was not a pause, that was Bancher. And Fuma actually finding a miss. Takaichi now is the only one to hold on to an FC in this map. Score lead, uh, still relatively close, 120k. Still an opportunity for AGH to come back into this pick, but Takaichi is definitely making it very, very difficult for them. Takaichi will have to find a mess soon, and Blondaz and 
Tosh Sari has really got to hold on. It's looking a bit dire, but Takaichi does find a miss. Low combos now for just about everyone. Tosh Sari, the only one left. Man, I just need to stop saying his name. <laughs> But yeah, the score lead will now slowly close back towards AGH's side. It's gonna take a while though. They're gonna have to basically almost assess the ending, I think, at this point. Ooh, Blonde, that's missing right before the slow part though. You're a little bit ahead, my man. Oh my but god. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second, I'm gonna check out your stream again. Alright. There we go, that's the miss from Blonde. But. Right now, Fuma, the only one uh, really keeping up with Twash Starry in terms of points. They are going to be able to accelerate their lead, however, again, unless they find another break right here, right now. But there might already be not enough time. AGH scrambling to find some points right now, but yeah. They are going to be able to hold on to, to their combos, and that's going to be it. Takaichi gonna come out with that one miss. Well, not one miss. Um, missing on that one pattern earlier. Yeah, just oh, missing again at the end, but it's not gonna matter. ITB taking their pick. I mean, the 727 Blue Zenith play was like literally one of the first Osu plays I ever watched, so. Yeah. It's old. It is definitely ahead of its time, but here we go, last resort. Very, 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 very tricky map. Um, if you can't play this, like, the finger control and just the sheer speed needed. If you can't play this, like, it shows. And Suikami, struggling early on, everyone struggling early on, apart from Fuma and Blondaz. Suikami actually dropping act below 80% now, and Fuma finding a break. Blonda is now also finding a break. Twash Zara, the only one with a higher combo at this point. Moving on though, HH does hold the score advantage. They're gonna come into the first break and they're gonna see that they've got some work to, to do, ITB. But. Honestly, if anyone finds a tragic miss at any of these um, sections, the score could flicker very, very quickly, and Tsukami just struggling right now to hit these patterns. They're so, so rough. Some hundreds dropped by Twash Star, but he is going to hold on to his combo. Fruma now also holding on to some of the combo. Tsukami, though, just unable to hold on. Fumbling a little bit here. Londa is also recovering now. Just a tad, until he drops it with a slider break. But yeah, no- Ooh, that section! Oh, he's actually gonna make it through that. Everyone else dropping. And with that, that's gonna pretty much seal the map. Again, everyone else dropping apart from Twitch. And yeah, okay. That, those buzz sliders combined with these streams at 255 is absolutely diabolical. And with that, that is going to be a, a, well, much less definitive, or much more uh, defined win for AGH here. Taking their own pick again, and uh, back to ITB now. Banned us out, but maybe it's less of a comfort pick for them and more of a, well, because it's less of a uh, comfort pick, they decide to ban this out. But... So we're gonna have to see how they perform and Fuma early on, finding a miss. Some of these jumps can be absolutely disgusting, so... Gonna have to see how they perform and early on, definitely, yeah. Daffy and Twash are the only ones being able to actually act this. Well, to play this. Uh, Fuma does hold onto a higher accuracy than Bondaz, though. Blonda is finding another miss. Daffy also finding a break now, so it's only touched study with a um, FC. Score should flicker over until he slider breaks. 
and yeah, just early on. Definitely seeing some blood early on, I guess. Ooh, this map definitely taking no prisoners as ITB double breaks there. Their early Double lead. Still of AGH, though. Yeah. They're gonna hold on, but we're gonna move on to the next KI very shortly here, and this is very, very, very rough with the jumps as soon as we get into it. Some free combo for a little bit, but here we go. That stream. Yeah, those jumps definitely catching up Blondaz a little bit more than I think he would like. Combo advantage now pretty much on the side of ITP just because of the two combos compared to the one. Of just... here. Ooh, Blondaz nearly missing that slider as well. Tapping twice for it. Twice now finding a break, which, yeah, just lets ITB absolutely hammer in that advantage now. The score was very, very, very close earlier, but now not so much. Is this already a bracket reset? Yeah. Alright, coming into the first proper break of the song through the streams. Flash Sire and Blondaz have some work to do. Fuma now absolutely combo holding onto that higher um, combo through these jumps as well. It's gonna be very, very hard for them to come back. And yeah, with that break again from the side of HGH, ITB is gonna just run away with this. Their own pick again. Why is a good Indo player than ITV? Yeah, very good third pick for them. Yeah, no. ITB just breeds good, just breeds good players. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it was studying uh, Blondaz, just not as confident on this um, Hard Rock 1, it seems. Just unable to match that of ITB, and they are gonna lose this pick. However, no breakpoints just yet in this match. Sign a secret heart. The extreme diff. Gonna be seeing the finger control and the quads. Okay, not quads, the uh, Penton quads, but. AGH picked this. Yeah, they I did. Could have sworn. AGH, like, ITP kept their bands the same, and AGH won three maps. What was the third one that they won? Um, I think it was this. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't oh. able to pay too much attention. You know, Fuma, Fuma popped off on uh, ITB Zend, and uh, yeah, they act I ITB won this uh by about like 200k last time. Yeah, they did, and Fuma like oh wait, never mind. ITB this time definitely finding some struggles in this map. Tries to start in Blondaz actually popping off here yeah, early on. Map is already nearly over. Yeah, and already Tosh study just absolutely insane performance right now. Coming from him, Daffy and Blondas trading, but 
Yeah, unfortunately for Fuma, not able to find the same performance, it seems. And now we're on track to seeing maybe an FC coming from Taj Study here. Never mind! Finding a drop just near the end, the finger control, I think catching him off guard a little. Just yeah, but Fuma cannot make up the score difference in the time that they have left. No. They definitely cannot. I have and actually just got the pose. Yeah, and it's 3 to 3 now. Still no break points. So I looked up a couple things. DT4 was actually the, the third map AGH1 other than Nomad 2 and Nomad 5 last match, which was first picked by ITB in this match, and ITB proceeded to win it. And so AGH now winning a map that ITB won last time in the form of Nomad 6. One thing that AGH might have over ITB, could definitely see ITB having a higher chance of missing on the space streams. That is and true. yes, the Nomad 1 with space streams. Get used to it. <laughs> yeah, no. Definitely not a boring Nomad 1 at all. It's Skyflame mapping, so if you're confident with aim, this is this is your pick. Already early on, no month one accuracy is all around. Blondaz and uh, Daffy just slightly behind, but. Early score shouldn't matter too much. Score now flickering back and forth. Yeah, just oh that big jump section off just before the first ki actually catching up Fuma. Blondaz though, shortly trading it afterwards. These streams actually, not too much of a problem for these players. But the jumps right afterwards. But oh no! A break from Touch Study and Daffy now, the one to hold the only FC left in the map. And the scoreboard immediately shifts back to, over to the side of ITB. Daffy now finding a break. Just losing concentration for a brief second could break you on a map like this, but gonna have to definitely see how they do later on in the map with the space streams. Sweet study. Okay, cool. Ooh, and yeah, that. Never is... mind my comment earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fuma finding another break. One that's holding onto somewhat of a combo now. Daffy closely behind. Never mind, Daffy is just gone. And Blonda is now the one to. Coming into this break, they'll see the scoreboard, and Fuma is question marking. They're confused right now. As to what has yeah, happened. Fuma looking dazed and confused. If, if he misses again, he might hurt himself in his confusion. That's just not gonna happen right now. They need a break from Blondaz and they need a quick. But it seems like he is just gonna be able to hold on. Twash Sorry, does find a break though. Blondaz was that combo, however. You yeah, know, the confusion is definitely present all around. Blondaz not even spinning. He knows he just has to hold on to his combo and they've got this pick. Ooh, but he does finally find a break and the score is now actually so so close. There's no combo to the side of AGH. Yeah, and Fuma is actually going to be able to bring it back in, in this final Kiai, these one twos. Actually gonna be killing Blondaz and oh no, Twitch Sorry dropping all of that accuracy, it's gonna seal it. Fuma coming in clutch near the end for ITB. And ITB is actually gonna not let a, a breakpoint go, taking their own pick yet again. Hang uh, on. A this second. time it's Daffy and Fuma. Oh, okay, so. 
Fuma and Daffy played this last time. However, last time uh, it was actually Twaj and James that played. So Blondaz is going to be playing instead of James. It seems and, James um, has just uh, exited the scene right now. Um, that might be why AGH wanted to delay. And it might not have James. Yeah. But right now, early on, Blondaz and Twaj that are both holding on to that combo. Oh, never mind. Daffy and Twash Sari is gonna trade on that faster part mapped in 1 6. Fuma, though, and Blondaz now the ones to hold on to that combo. Fuma does drop the SS, and uh, I'm gonna lose internet. Apologies for that. Uh, Australian internet strikes again as uh, an unfortunate miss from Twash Sari and Blondaz actually. Double miss coming from AGH. That was not Bancho, as Fuma now with Daffy is gonna just take the lead early on. Immediately Blonda is missing that flow aim and that circular pattern as well. As well as the next one, Daffy also finding a few breaks here and there, but Fuma is just gonna be able to keep them ahead of the curve right now. No combo for the side of AGH at all. Daffy and Blondas finding a trade. The jumps. Definitely quite tricky. Into those squares! Fuma finally dropping his combo as a full combo reset from both teams. Slight lead, however, for ITB. About 40k. Just slightly under. There is no free combo on this map at all. Oh, I guess this fight is as free as it gets. But still, it's very, very tricky as Daffy found the break there. Fuma as well. That's gonna pretty much bring it back to AGH's side. Blondas finding a miss. They're, they're just trading turns. I feel like there was this point where ITB had like this large lead, and it is definitely um, yeah, no, trying to get a lot closer now. It is. But again, they're just trading turns right now. Holding some combo, Daffy and Blondaz finding a trade. Fuma and Tosh Sari the highest combos for both of their teams, but Tosh Sari is gonna miss that square pattern. Fuma hits it though, he is shaking a little. Coming into this second break. Oh, I guess first one. First major break. But he just has to hold on and AGH is gonna have some trouble coming back into this. Because this section is so, so rough. Well, Blonde has a too much raid. Those hundreds dropped at touch side. It's going to actually tank their score so, so much. These sliders catching up Blonde. It's catching up Fuma as well. Trash side has not got too much combo to match that of Daffy. Daffy is just bringing it on right now for the side of ITB. And that lead isn't insurmountable, but it's getting much, much more difficult to surpass. Considering that combo, never mind that non existent combo from Daffy now. Definitely an opportunity from AGH if Twitch study just like absolutely god, like just god modes the end here. And Blonda has, has to just hold on and they might be okay. Daffy is shouting profanities. Twitch that it cannot break near the end here. Oh, that very space linear aim. Not gonna catch him off guard at all. As the score closes, last square pattern. No, a double break from the side of HEH, and that's gonna seal it. Daffy finding a break near the end again, but unfortunately, even though even though the score lead is that that close, it's not gonna be enough as. ITB finds a first break point in this match. Like, I'm typically backlogged by like half a week in terms of like, um, like scheduled events and stuff. Yeah. No, also, um, co ops are weighing hard on me. Uni in us. Uh, uni here, I think for most people, only started about two weeks ago. So, yeah, no, we're just. Uh, and it's already pr pretty rough. So. Yeah. But 
early on in this, uh, I guess, speed pick, high BPM str uh, strain pick. Um, HEH, early on, just with the accuracy, is going to be ahead. But we're going to be getting into the front of the map now. Three coming, the first one to find a break for the side of ITB. Still two FCs. Never mind, Twash Sadi is going to find a break for the side of HEH. Closer to the middle of the map, which does not spell good things if Suikami manages to hold on till the end here. But right now, Suikami does find another break, however. Fuma and Blondaz now. One's holding on to the FCs. A break from Zen would be tragic for either team. It's still possible for ITB, but those breaks from Suikami does not help them at all. Fuma as well. Yeah. Uh oh. Blondaz. It's just going to be able to extend this lead so, so far now into the match, and already it looks like it's quite impossible for ITB to come back here. Yeah, AGH definitely coming in clutch when they needed to. Definitely. As it would have been very scary for them to go down 6 3 against ITB once again. This time, they're going to be bringing a point back, taking back the break point. Blonda has finally found the break, but it's already not enough. A score of over 1 million for them. ITB does have two, I guess, recovered combos, but I... I, I oh, wait. Hold on. Constant breaking from Touch Sari and Blondaz here. But, yeah, no. Even with those combos, I don't think there's enough map left. It's gonna be close. Yeah. It looks a little bit scary at yeah, the end, but... <laughs> That was a very, very large and quick uh, swing to the middle, but AGH still keeping it on their side. This is going to be close. AGH does have to take their own pick here to even it back up and potentially go for the win, but oh man, did the countdown? <laughs> oh yeah, that's how you know it's old. Yep. Right now, early on, just because of accuracy, HEH does have a slight advantage, but we're gonna get in into the brunt of the map right now. The finger control, the linear patterns, the vertical patterns, and my god awful internet. Suikami finding the first break, actually. It is an early break, but this is a short map as well. Suikami finds another break. But Blondaz traded shortly afterwards, however, AGH is going to still be slightly ahead just because of the higher combo Blondaz managed to obtain from earlier. It's going to be down to whether Fuma and Twash Sadi can just hold on. Twash Sadi, oh, so, so close to just dropping it there, under streaming. Coming into the breaks, that drop in accuracy is going to hurt them so, so much. ITB really has to miss, or Fuma really has to drop some ack for AGH to come back into this at this point. Suikami finds a first break, and Twash Sorry, however, finds a break, and immediately this is looking quite dire for them. Yeah, and there's just no more opportunity to come back. Well, then Fuma is gonna absolutely pop off here and carry ITB to, well, match point. Everyone hit the last stream though, that's actually pretty impressive. That is. Like, something about that hexagon stream it always gets me every time. I don't. Oh, yeah. never mind. We're As still you playing. Said, not really overlaps, more like really difficult flow. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Also, Fuma is still playing V3 on my end. What about you? Uh, uh yeah. I. We gotta get Fuma playing the current map, unfortunately. Um, that FC was very, very nice, but we can't dwell on that. They have one more map to play. As early on, the score fl flickering back and forth right now. Slight act advantage over to AGH just because of the SS, as I completely lose in internet connection. Never mind, we're back. 
But yeah, early on, don't expect too many breaks. But it's definitely later that we will see when the flow kicks in. That's when it's gonna be. Here we go. Everyone hitting it thus far. Even with hidden, and Blondas is actually gonna be the first victim! Takayachi, though, however, trading it short shortly afterwards, finding another miss shortly afterwards as well. Blondas. Yeah. Blondas. Puma versus Fosh once again on the 1v1 versus uh, with FCs. Fosh is still holding 99% though. Blondas finding a chain miss. Puma as well finding a miss. Takayachi fumbling right now. Twice Raj actually just. The only FC left, absolutely carrying this map. Still holding on to that 99%. If Flash Slash holds on for a little bit longer, they're pretty much secured for this map. Blondaz is this gonna find a miss, but Fuma trades with him. Takayachi now is the only combo left for ITB, which is nowhere near that of Flash that, that is right now, and absolute carry performance coming out from him right now. But oh he is gonna find a break near the end, but I think he's done more than enough coming into this last flow section. Fuma missing the entire space stream, so. That is definitely going to do it. HGH yeah. now. The Kaiachi. Point here. Ooh, those last one twos. Yeah, no. No spin will save you here. AGH takes a break point from their opponents, and now they have their final pick to potentially go into tiebreaker. This is going to be close. Like, I know that being a good song by itself doesn't justify it, but I was like, you know what, it's CS5 AR8. It's CS5 it's like AR8, but the freaking pattern and the perfect overlaps, come yeah, on. Like, I, I put it on a hidden in the staff show match, and I was like, wait, why did we let this happen? <laughs> like, the, the, the hidden is impossible on that map. Yeah, no, when... Yeah, and you do have to be really good at hard rock as well to play that map well. But we're going to move into the, I guess, hidden tech map. Yeah, look, um, that Fremont 1 was used as a hidden pick in tier 1's grand finals of, uh, GameCon. Uh, that tournament. I mean, um, that sounds semi-familiar. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Food. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, no, right now, um... Blondaz and Takayachi just finding trades, but it's gonna be up to Tashari and Fuma again. But Tashari and Fuma both trade now. Still, Ooh. slight advantage to AGH. If ITB wants to win this without a type, without a TB, they have to bring it back now. Blondaz is ahead. Ooh, he nearly found the break, but Fuma finds a break on those. Oh, Takaichi and Tashari are gonna trade. They are hitting these. Oh, how is Tosh Tashari hits those sliders? But Blondas find a chain miss on that space stream section. Score is actually still quite close. Off. Yeah, but. Oh, no. No, he goes down. Oh. Just those chain misses. This is so, so rough on Hidden. Honestly, you, you miss the start of one of those streams and you're absolutely cucked for the rest of it. Fuma, and unable to bring it back, and died. oh my god, we're going to this TP. This has had five iterations, and we have now had three grand finals tie break, bracket reset tiebreakers. Like, this, I, like we were saying it earlier, like this this tourney is like actually like semi cursed in like a good way, <laughs> or like blessed, I guess, to have tiebreakers every single bracket reset. That's what you're all here for, Heck and we yeah. know it. <laughs> As well as, I guess, proving that you're the best uni <laughs> around, I guess. But. Alright. 
Here we go. Did that help viewer count? Okay, viewer count did actually exceed. Hoggers, 80 is like actually easily large. Like, I can't believe we're getting 80 viewers at like, what is it? Like 1442 UTC. I mean, it's a like good thing to wake up to, right? Last, okay, last fall was higher because the time the time was like a lot better for NA viewers. Let's yeah. be fair. But right now, Ghost Spectre, so we coming to drop quite a bit of back earlier. Still 99s for the side of AGH. But we have yet to get into the brunt of the map. Here we go. First Kiai coming up right away. This is where you'll be starting to see the first few breaks as we get into the sliders. Here we go! Big stream! All four hit again? Yeah, no. Now into the jumps, they did hit them, so... Blondas are an unfortunate slider miss! Fuma, however, trading shortly afterwards. However, the score lead is on their side. Fuma still coming, just unable coming, to hold on. Flush Dari is... Gonna be able Oh no, sick Kami! What was that? Finding a chain miss and dropping so many hundreds there. Doing no favors for his score at all into this space section. Blonde has and Sweet Kami finding another trade. Fuma now holding on, but Twist Daddy still holding on to that FC from earlier. And absolutely the dominating performance right now. Though. Yeah. Oh my god, Twash Rally finally finds a miss, but already only 30k difference actually. Oh. This is gonna be close. AGH in the slight lead right now just because of that carry performance earlier on from Twash. But Fuma and Sukami can easily bring this back. A bit of free combo for a bit. Here we go. A blonde is actually finding a miss during the free combo section. Um, this is very dangerous. Or is it still very close? Yeah. Slightly for AGH, it's like combo lead for ITB. But here we go, after that question mark, this is where it really picks up now. Second Kiai. Fuma is still holding on to an absolutely insane accuracy, definitely, but Tsukami for the miss on those streams, and that slider stream catching up. Gosh, what AGH. Fuma does, oh no, unfortunately not able to hold on to this combo, and the score is so, so close right now. Less than 10k between these two players right now. AGH slightly behind, but Tsukami was that miss. It's gonna end Fuma as well, gonna bring the score back to the side of AGH. This is for all the cookies. One that's missing too though. Or oh. once again about the flicker. Yeah, Fuma are just unable to hold through those jumps and there's gonna be a little bit of free combo after these sliders. Twash Static just has to hold on for a bit longer. So Kami unfortunately finding another break. Blondaz as well now, they just need to hold through the stream! Twitch just holds it through, but Fuma is- Well, no, ITB is ahead, but no! AGH, find the break near the end, and combo advantage to the side of ITB now, Blondaz and Fuma trading. Again, yeah, Sukami and Fuma are stumbling on those sliders. No one has any combo, and the lead is actually slightly ahead for ITB right now. Still, any misses is deadly as we see it. Oh my god. This is going to be absolutely critical that they hit this last section here. Heading into the last Chi, oh. but practically flickering once again. Everybody holds on to Fuma and Twash Lash drops shortly after. That drop in act does not help them at all. Sweet Kami drops the combo, but Blondaz holds on to 200k combo, but he drops it as well. That chain is from Twash starting was... Entirely. No! That was... That was... That was criminal from Twitch Saudi just dropping all of that accuracy and all of their lead and now 20k all of a sudden for ITB and the favorites to win this match right now 
hangs in the balance. Oh, misses from both places of HH, oh, so Fuma. Oh. That'll be it. <laughs> and the underdogs take it. I've I've watched like I, as I already said, multiple grand finals tiebreakers in just the iterations of OCL alone. Obviously, I've watched a lot more than just those, but like, oh my god, I have never seen a closer tiebreaker in my entire life. I can easily say that hands down.